welcome back to the unboxers and today we have for you something huge barely fits in the studio oh here it comes it's castle gray skull yes. i can barely fit it in the camera there you have castle gray skull masters of the universe of course this brings back so many memories yeah. um and we have um it looks like it's going to come with um and includes a special edition Temple of Darkness Sorceress. Yes, I don't so. remember. I mean, I had some of the... I had some uh -huh. Master of the Universe figures growing up, but I don't ever remember having yeah. Sorceress. Yep, and uh, but she's not typically white. I think she right. has um, orange and blue in her... Um, yeah, it's like more... Like, like a tropical bird color. Yeah, okay, yeah. All right, so um, we're going to go ahead and... I'm going to turn it around. Is there anything on the back we need to see? Um, well, looks I mean, really cool. Okay. Oh, cool that's cool. Features at the top. The front looks like um, the original. I don't know if they bought, made the box to look like the original. Yeah, I'm not but sure. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see because this has it says new for 21. Ooh. So it'll be interesting and to see how this is And this is ages six, six plus, so that doesn't mean 21 and plus. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, whoa. And they show off some of the characters and some of the ooh trapdoor surprise. Yes, I remember that. All right, so nothing on the back. It's just kind of a, I can kind of get it turned on here, but it has a, um, Whoa, fancy. Has like a, a view of kind of the inside of the castle, uh -huh. and then a whole bunch of the different Wow, that's really cool. Vehicles and accessories and figures and stuff. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get it out of the box. Uh, it looks like it, it says unassembled. We're going to see how many pieces it comes in. And we're going to give you a much closer look at Castle Grayskull. Okay, and there's Castle Grayskull. I'm going to pan up. It barely fits in the studio. You can see yeah. the, the battle gun thing up there. What do they call it? Yeah, I'm not, I don't know if that's the anyway. but yeah, some kind of a turret. that. Yes, you know all the fancy names. And then that one over there is... I'm, I'm not sure. I, I've, I don't know if this is like a... If it goes up there, or if this is like a training thing, because it's got like a fist oh, on one cool. side and a and boar's head, head on, the, on other. the other. So I don't know if you're supposed to like, you know, like the figures are supposed to like, tr you know, battle train mm -hmm. with it. So awesome. I don't know if it's supposed to be up there or not. All right. And as you can also see up there, there's a flag. Um, it pegs in pretty in. good, yeah. Hold on, I'm going to get you to... Here, hold on. Sounds like a suction cup. Um, so at one side it has like the evil clashing of swords, and the other side is like the He-Man side. So that's maybe it's like we're at peace, we're at war. Yeah. <laughs> so and then it has a, um, a hexagon right there that's going to peg on to the top. So very cool. Um, and now let's see, take a look at some of the stuff down below here. Comes with it, little. Stand. You know, like a rack for your weapons. Yeah. And you can put them all, if you have a bunch of figures and stuff, then you can obviously fill it up more, but oh, yeah, you have that's... two of them, so you can put them all on one or all on the other. It's good that they leave room for some others, yeah. you know, because you're probably going to get some with your with your figures. And then um, we just have um, Adam that? standing yeah, there. Adam, yeah, Yeah, because he, um, we had him previously, and of course he goes with, that's his home. All right, and now we have... The sorceress. So she's all in white. She's got the little uh, bird on the top of her staff. Um, her wings are translucent That's with, cool. and they can go up and down. Oh wow! Um, because there, you can see a little silver thing back there. So they are on a joint that can go up and down, which is cool. And then she has the the tail part. Now these are a little bit stiffer to stay out, but the tail part is a little bit more rubbery to give her more flexibility um, and there's her headpiece really cool um, she does have um, some articulation and but I think we'll go over that at the end okay um, let's go ahead and get to some more details of the castle all right yeah so, this is really exciting because like I never I had the he-man figures but um, I never was I never had like castle, the castle. Grayskull, so. yeah yeah um, I, and it was I feel like it wasn't something that like every kid had you know yeah. it was like you had that one friend that had it yeah 
but anyway. Um, so one thing I'll show you before we turn it around and open it up is it has like a little slot in the front and the, you know to keep the door shut and if you put the sword in now of course you're probably going to want to use the actual He-Man sword but you can use this one as well and it will open the jaw bridge. Very cool. Ah, you can see the teeth down there and the tongue. <laughs> Very cool. And then and you can then see the little tower window up there. It does have little um, things on the side to, that'll hold it closed, so that way you can even like store Wait, your let's figures see the in back here. Back real quick. Just the, the, the details. Oh, that's really cool. And I mean, obviously, when you open it up, you you know, but. Uh, that looks really cool. I didn't realize the uh, details on the other side. Yeah. So then if we open up the castle. Dun, 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 dun. Very cool. And then it has this bridge and you, I mean this ladder and you just kind of slide it this way. Just hooks in place. into place. Yeah, very cool. And, take and now we'll show you some of the other um, details. That um, that the little special things that it has in the inside. Yeah, so like on this side, you actually have um, like a, it has like a, this little bird. And if you pull the bird, then you can Ooh, raise the, <laughs> some... the elevator, and mm -hmm. it'll actually kind of it fits just in there snug, so it'll actually stay. Oh, that's cool. And of course, it has a peg, so you can peg the figure on. So yeah, and as you can see, Adam's on. foot has a has a hole in the bottom of yeah, it, so he, so can, he can peg, just peg on. in there and stand. You can see it. And then if you kind of loosen it up, it'll go back down. Oops. I didn't peg it in there very well, but... <laughs> okay. Oh, Oops. it's falling down! Oh, the bird. Very cool. So it'll kind cool. of go back down. And then, um, it looks like you have a screen. Yeah, like a computer panel here. Um, and I'm looking out into space. Can, yeah, you could do some, you know... The, you can play with and also like a smaller like computer on that um, side here and they have some flags yeah they're like um they they're like made out of ribbon so this is not actually this is actually printed on here this is not a sticker that was put on there the stickers are the space the back of here this rug the um if you can see the monsters down below there um and like snakes and stuff sticking out of that grate down there um, so there's a few stickers to put on, but not a ton. Just enough to be, you know, it's it's always fun to add the stickers yeah. to the set. It kind of completes it. But I like that these are printed on. All right, and then we have a uh, special chair. We really needed yes. Skeletor for this one. All right, so now I'll do it from this way so you can get a little better view. When you turn the chair, then it releases the... Oh! Thing. And down and he then goes. To um, John was showing, you do this, and then you turn the chair back, and it kind of locks it in place. So that way, if you're like, how does this go back? But uh, yeah, poor Prince Adam and sort of they don't deserve any of that. We definitely needed to get a Skeletor um, figure so we can put him to stand on the trap door. Very very cool. Um, and then this is of course where the drawbridge comes in. It's an awesome playset, especially to just go back in time and be able to get this again actually yeah and there are like multiple places where you can uh like peg the there's one over here or where you can peg the figures oh on. yeah yeah and the box showed you there's um there's a lot of room he can have a lot of friends over yes <laughs> so i just think it's really cool that they decided to recreate this again uh you know for collectors and kit and new kids yeah. Uh, they're being introduced to He-Man. Yeah, because it's really gotten, you know, with the, the new series and stuff, it's mm -hmm. really gotten like a resurgence in the last couple of years. So So that is awesome. So fun. let's quickly show off Sorcerer's articulations, just in case you're wondering. But she is the exclusive figure to the Castle Grayskull. Yeah, and this is kind of more of the, um, off of the uh, the new, like, Origins line, like Adam, where it's, this, it's the original design, but they've updated the articulation. So, like... Yeah. The old ones, you basically, you, there was no knee, no uh, wrist, no uh, elbow. Mm -hmm. um, so all of that has been added. So she's got, you know, good range of motion at the shoulder. Of course, she actually has elbows. elbow now. And I think the elbows too. Um, will, Ooh, whoa, yeah. will twist as well. Um, she does have wrist articulation. Um, of course, the... 
neck. Now this this gonna, thing is going to make it yeah a little harder to do, but she does have neck articulation. She does have uh, waist articulation. She's got articulation at the waist, the knees, and the um, the ankles, and they will and her boot, twist. the top of her boot. Oh, yes, yeah. and like the mid thigh. I mean the Calf. mid yeah. shin. And the el the uh, the knees are same as the elbows, where they will kind of rotate like, as well. Hurts. So, so they've yeah they've definitely improved the articulation on that. So that's really cool. And that's a really cool figure to get exclusively. Yeah. Exclusively with the Castle Grayskull. Awesome. So this is a look at Castle Grayskull. They've re-released this playset um, for collectors, of course, and also all those new fans. So thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us, like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.